In our last video, we began the huge five night Salcante trek with alpaca expeditions. Along the road, we saw Hamante Lake completely alone, made it through the challenging Salcante Pass at 4,600 meters elevation. The hardest point of the entire five days, checked off. And even spent the night in a hobbit house. In this video, we met some unexpected challenges that was really scary. As we continued the road to Machu Picchu. Every morning starts with a coca tea, and this morning we thought we'd show you what a normal morning routine looks like on the Salcante trek. 5.42 now, and believe it or not, this is asleep in this morning. This is the longest sleep in we've had <laughs> the last couple of days. Now we have to get changed into what we're gonna wear today. Our morning routine self-care looks a little bit different on the Salcante trek. Basically it's been narrowed down to brushing our teeth, deodorant, and lots and lots of sunscreen. Every morning we have to pack up everything we need for the next night into these duffel bags. These get carried by our porters the entire day. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's impossible. And we get them at night. It means not carrying but still getting access to things like toiletries and pajamas. It's pretty good. But during the day if we need something we need to carry our backpacks on our back. These can get heavy, especially if you're carrying electronics like a drone. But for most people, it's really not too bad. The worst thing about every morning now has been putting on the shoes. And it's getting worse and worse each morning because my toes and my blisters are in so much pain. But that's okay. We're almost, today we will be over halfway. Porters have the bags, now it's time for breakfast. Every morning we start with an included breakfast. Today it's got omelets, there's coffee, and some like fruit skewers. Everything you need for a full day of hiking. And because it's Misha's birthday on the tour, we had birthday cake for breakfast. Which is never a bad thing. Before we put on our bags for the day and start the hike, I'm gonna quickly show you the bathroom. Has everything you need, including really hot water. It's also right next to a running river, so you don't have any of those awkward noises. I'm going to say, all day! So today we've got a 12 kilometer day. It's either 400 or 600 meters elevation. The jury's still out on that. But we are going to an avocado farm that might have coffee or a coffee farm that might have avocado. Either way, it's gonna be a good day. First stop of the day, coffee shop. As soon as we reached the coffee house, we were split into teams and set to work. It was boys versus girls, and the winner would be whichever group could collect the most coffee beans. Jordan, we are in the jungle. We are in the Amazon at the beginning of the Amazon. Anthony, show me your beans. Coffee 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 beans. Co
five kilos. Okay. And this is six. A coffee picking competition where Jordan oh. cheated, so the boys won, but did they really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. And coffee we've just can seen have, been shoot. roasted oh, with some shoot. orange peel, some sugar. Literally, we just roasted it and grinded it. Is it good? Yeah. Yum. Mmm. <laughs> Needs sugar. Mango sandwich beef with Peruvian fries, no French fries. Okay, this is potato, and in the middle we have tuna. Lima beans, not lima beans. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was wholesome. <laughs> Starbucks! And now it's four hours uphill. Yep. Woo! It's so hot and sweaty today. We're not going to get to camp without some sweat. What are we only like two out halfway? Yeah. But we just dipped our hats in a stream. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, it's really cold. A <laughs> little bit of a brain freeze. <laughs> The next few hours of hiking were brutal, and the scorching midday heat was taking its toll. As we continued to climb, I fell away from the group and ended up alone. Finding it hard to catch my breath, I felt like I was on the verge of an anxiety attack. I tried to focus my attention to my steps and was telling myself to just put one foot in front of the other. After what felt like a lifetime, we made it to our next big break. like dying. Day three incline is a lot of incline. Not as much as day one but because it's so hot you almost feel it more. I think we've only got like an hour left and we'll make it to camp. I may fall over. You got this. It's all in the back, right? Oh, no. oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> He's doing it with a smile on his face too. Those are 20 kilos. That's enough. Man, it's heavy. Oh my god. Wow. What? Our first Indian ruin. Wow. This is crazy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow! What? Can you see it? No. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's much. Jeez Louise. Guys. That's much a picture. Everybody to Yachta Pata or Pata Yachta. The wonder, alright? 
and here we have an Incan site uh, in the remote situation. Ten minutes down here to camp. Camp for the night has a view of Machu Picchu. Every single tent should have a view. Oh my god, that's so cool. We can open it and watch the sunset. Oh, there's so many rocks in there. God, that's nice. We've probably said four or five times that this is the best place we've ever stayed. This is the best place we've ever stayed. <laughs> we didn't get here without some sweat though. I think at one point I could have like wrung out the back of my shirt and it would have dripped everywhere. That's how hot, hard and sweaty today was. Worth it. Day three confessionals, we've made it to a campsite that looks over Machu Picchu. And we've seen another Incan ruin on the way. It's been a really awesome day, it's been super hard. Didn't expect the sun to be that hot, but it was a killer. And my foot is so sore, I'm dreading taking off my right sock to see the damage. And I definitely won't show you. <laughs> I think Emily got a bit grumpy with me at the end because I didn't help set up the tent. I was flying the drone. Maybe I'll say it again without crying. But to be fair, you need light to fly the drone. And it was either get that or not. I stand by my decision. I wonder if she'll mention that in her confessional. It's pretty cool to be here. Third day of hiking was pretty brutal actually considering the heat, but so worth it to end up with these views. Jordan's going to get us some cervezas now so we can enjoy the sunset with everyone. It was another really wholesome day. Like this group is just so awesome and cheering each other on, cheering on the porters who do an insane job. I'm riding high now, but <laughs> there was a point where I was like hyperventilating slash on the verge of like a panic attack. And like half of the group had gone ahead and half was behind and I was sort of by myself. And I was like hyperventilating and I just couldn't get enough air in. And I didn't want anyone to catch up to me so I was still trying to move and I just couldn't catch my breath. That was really scary. I haven't had an anxiety attack or a panic attack in like a couple of years. Well, since we've quit our jobs and started doing this instead. So it was kind of scary to have one again. Or like have the start of one. But... I did it, my body did it, I'm okay, I made it, I'm safe. And what a place to end up. Oh, I didn't think I'd cry at that. Jordan picked a spot for that confessional right in all of the like horse's poo. So it better have looked good. had a beer in about two months. I haven't had alcohol in about two months, but it was hot today. We walked a lot. Look at this view. Plus it's Misha's birthday. So I kind of have to. Oh, Misha. <laughs> Blame her. <laughs> it's pretty nice here. This is insane. I knew that the last night they said you were camping with a view of Machu Picchu. Second to last night. Second to last night. But I don't think I like let that sink in. I thought it would be like, ages away and yes it's far away <laughs> but the fact that we're sitting here looking at a wonder of the world while we're drinking a cerveza after an awesome day of hiking before a dinner that's included with also great views and amazing people 
Mm. I just am not sure life gets better than this. It's pretty good. <laughs> and it's like, I was just saying before, it's a random Thursday. If we were at home doing the regular thing, we'd be getting home from a shitty day at work after sitting in traffic for an hour to then have to cook dinner and like go through all the rigmarole instead. <laughs> This is our lives. Your back. You know when your sweat dries? Yeah, <laughs> it's salty. It's all salty. Yeah. Gross. Good morning from our last trekking day on this entire trip. We woke up again in the morning by our guides offering us hot drinks. This time it wasn't just coca tea, we got coffee. And today we've got 14 kilometers. We're gonna see some waterfalls. We're gonna go to Hydroelectrica and eventually finish our time in Aguas Caliente where we're staying in a hotel, which would be nice because it means a full hot shower. I'm so happy. Wait, did you see the bathroom? Oh my God, let's go. <laughs> Pretty good views to wake up to. But before we get started with any of that, breakfast. Bring on the last day of hiking. I'm going to say Team Baby, Alpacas, LFG, and everybody else will say, let's finish it, okay? <laughs> Team Baby, Alpacas, LFG! Let's finish it! fun to break down some of the words you might hear us saying because there's a lot of them that probably don't make sense. First is PMA. PMA, positive mental attitude all the way. We can do this hike because we believe we can hear first and then the body figures it out. Then we have haku haku. Haku haku. Haku haku. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Which means like, let's go, you've got this. LFG, let's f***ing go. What else? Oh, and most importantly, if you hear any references to picking flowers, going to the garden, picked up some flowers, that's our sort of secret code for needing the bathroom. Oh, we tell them. We are a packers, the baby, a packers. 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 Hello, G. LFG! Haku Haku! Haku Haku! We're going to Machu! We're going to Machu! Pichu Pichu! Pichu Pichu! Tonight is the first night in so many nights that we get a hotel room. Oh, everyone means... is beyond excited for a shower and yeah. a proper bed. Well, I mean, we've had proper beds. It's the shower we're all very excited yeah. for. We stink. <laughs> and just like having the amenities of a town. If you need something, you can just go get it. Yeah. I'm excited for that. It's gonna be nice. Try Pisco South for the first time. Yes. Well deserved, I think, by the time we get there. Yeah. Best one yet. We said goodbye to our chef and our porters at lunch, and now it's just three hours on the train tracks to Aguas Calientes. And these are the same tracks that I think we'll be coming back on tomorrow after we visit Machu Picchu, which I'm really excited for. And this is the train that we'll be catching back tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow morning we're seeing Machu Picchu. Every day kind of blends together. This is 
quite possibly going to be the best shower of my life. This is so luxurious. I did not expect this. I don't know if like spending a few nights in tents and that sort of thing has made my bar a lot lower, but this is like five star. This is amazing. I want to jump on the bed so bad, but I'm so sweaty. sweaty. Yeah. I don't, want to ruin it. <laughs> don't know what I expected, but I expected less than this. I'm so happy. Wait, did you see the bathroom? Oh my god, let's go. Whoa. Wow. Separate bath. Isn't this like the fanciest? With a lot. Oh, sexy hair. Yeah, first mirror in four days. <laughs> yeah, first time looking in the mirror in four days is pretty rough. Finished our last day of trekking. Been in the hotel room for like an hour and a half. Had the hottest shower. I have not felt this clean in a long time. You know when you're like really dirty, so when you shower, you just feel like. <sighs> Today was pretty easy. We walked along the train tracks for a lot of it. Today was really, really nice. All highlights. But it was shaded, which was really nice. It was really nice just walking along, chatting to everyone and getting to know everyone a bit more. I'm really going to miss this group. Now we're in a proper hotel room with charging ports and everything could be back to 100%. One thing to note about charging devices, if you are thinking about doing the Selkante trek, the first night you do have power, you do have outlets. The second night you don't. Third night you do. The fourth night you don't. The fifth night you do. Doing this with Alpaca Expeditions was the best decision we've ever made. I can't believe that we get to see Machu Picchu tomorrow. Today is the day. We made it to Machu Picchu. We woke up super early this morning to have breakfast at the hotel and we caught the bus up what was like 10-15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Packed. There are way more people here than I was expecting. But we get to see Machu Picchu today. It's currently just past 6am and it's packed here. I can't believe it's actually happening. <laughs> Our third wonder of the world I think it is. We figured out because we've done the Taj, we've done the Colosseum. And now we're about to do Machu Picchu. What else do you need to build the city? What else? Material. Look at the stones that we have, you know. Incas use here stones. What type of stone Incas use here to build Machu Picchu? Granite. We only have granite, stone, and Machu Picchu. This is the beginning, all right? But now let's take a picture. Look at that's That's a Picchu Mountain. This is already amazing. We've walked up to the terraces. Now we're going to like the postcard spot. What I didn't realize is that Machu Picchu isn't like the known name for this. The Incans didn't have any form of writing, so we don't know what they called it. It's just after the fact that we've started calling it Machu Picchu. Crazy. Which means old mountain. Some fun pop culture facts about Machu Picchu. One, Paddington 3, I think, was recently filmed here. Transformers something was filmed here. Some the else. Simpsons have had episodes here. Oh, and the guy that discovered Machu Picchu, they think is the guy that sort of inspired Indiana Jones. Like, if you see photos side by side, he kind of looks like Indiana Jones, minus the whip. We made it to Machu Picchu! <laughs> Seventh wonder of the world, third one for us. Check. Check. So we've been treated to pretty intense information the entire trek, but as soon as we got here, it was like information overload. There is so much to talk about, so much to go through, and so much history here. 
obviously. <laughs> One more hour in Machu Picchu, but when we walk, please don't 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 forget to take your pictures. You only come once to Machu Picchu, okay? My favorite story so far is about how when this place was first scientifically discovered, someone being an archaeologist archaeolog Archaeologist. Archaeologist came here by accident because he was looking for a different Incan ruin. He ran into a farmer nearby and was like, where's these Incan ruins? And the farmer was like, oh yeah, I own them, I'll take you up. He came up here and there were farmers working and they were like, we're too busy to show you around, but my 10 year old son can take you around. And he was the first ever tour guide of Machu Picchu, a 10 year old boy. So we picked up these stones at the Salcante Pass and we are leaving them here as an offering to Pachamama. We get to make a wish and she'll make it come true. Because back in the day there were pilgrims that carried loads of stones and we were pilgrims. We didn't really carry a load. They also did it barefoot and fasted. We definitely did not do that. But Pachamama will still grant us a wish. We've learnt that the Incas and Machu Picchu was built with two different types of architecture. The first is this one that has sort of mortar in between and this was more for like the servants, the peasants. The second, more impressively, was this like interlocking structure that has no mortar in between. It's just rocks cut perfectly and locked into place. This was used more for like high priest, high priestess, governor, all the high ranking officials. As it turns out, Machu Picchu hasn't been without some incidents and accidents in its history. One, I think Jordan mentioned about the llamas. We just learned that the only reason that there are llamas at Machu Picchu is because a beer company came here in the year 2000 to film a commercial and just abandoned them here. So the ones we saw on the way in are because of beer. But when that beer company was here to film a commercial, the crane they were using to film everything fell and chipped the southern side of the sundial. And another one, which is crazy, is in the 1970s, the king and queen of Spain came and in order for them to allow a helicopter to land, they knocked down a monolith and just can't put it back into its original place. All for a helicopter to land. How ridiculous is that? So it's the only stone laying in a field now. It's like four layers, all lined up perfectly. And that's finished, We're Machu Picchu. Walking out of Machu Picchu right now. I'm feeling really, really grateful for our guide because not only were they like telling us heaps of facts and stories and all this history stuff, but like the commitment to taking photos for everyone. Oh. Look around and none of the guides are doing that. Like, we just got so lucky with this group and with these guides. They are pros as well. It's like they went to college for it or something. <laughs> Honestly, they're better photos than we take. Yeah. <laughs> by like a long time. Now, just a very nice train back to Cusco. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a weird <laughs> At least we look really cool. <laughs> Yeah. Can you go see if there's more coffee? Yeah. <laughs> you look good.
Made it to our first Inca ruin. Oh my god. Maybe I'll say it again without crying, like a little wuss. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm trying to get the shot. We're in Machu Picchu right now. And look at over there. Look at over there, the green alpaca guy too. You see? Yeah. Oh yeah. You think that he's better than me? <laughs> And everybody say, baby alpacas in Machu Picchu. Baby alpacas in Machu Picchu. Beautiful. Look at everybody. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs>